Well, folks, we finally know what Emio is. Who is Emio? Well, he is the smiley man because we got brand new information today. Exactly one week from when Nintendo teased all of us with what we thought might be a new horror IP. But it turns out it's not. Although there's still something fascinating here because this does appear to potentially be the very first internally developed M-rated game. So what is it? Well, it's actually a new Famicom Detective Club game called Emio the Smiley Man. And there's actually a lot of really fascinating things behind it, including the producer of the game, who is also one of the main people that run the Metroid series. Of course, it shouldn't be surprising because this person also happens to be the person that created Famicom Dec Detective Club. So what do we got to get into? Well, first, we need to talk about uh, what was said. There was a small little video released by Nintendo. We'll play it right now uh, from the producer, Toshio Sokomoto. And he had this to say about the game in a video today. Famicom Detective Club is a series of adventure games, of which the first two games, The Missing Heir and The Girl Who Stands Behind, were released in Japan for the Famicom Disk System about 30 years ago. Actually, it's been about 35 years, to be fair. Anyways, I designed both of these games with the concept of them being like a movie that you solve all by yourself. We remade them in 2021 for Nintendo Switch. And when we did, I thought that we definitely have to make a brand new Famicom Detective Club game. I knew we'd be able to make something good, so I decided to do it. It's the first new game in over 30 years. So I did everything from the plot to the script and the cutscenes, even all the smaller details. Emio the Smiling Man is an urban legend that we made up for this game about a man who appears in front of crying girls and in exchange for their lives gives them a paper bag with a smile on it. When you think about urban legends, you might think they're just rumors, but unlike ghost stories, they have more of a sense of realism to them. By clearly depicting the background to the rumor, you can see how a case will change. I wanted to make this game into a story that offers players that kind of experience, and so we implemented a daring plot not used before. In this game, the Yutsugi Detective Agency attempts to solve a case that involves an urban legend about Emio the Smiling Man, which is also the name of this game, as well as a murder case that's very similar to it. For this game, Emio the Smiling Man, I made full use of the knowledge gained from the past titles and remakes and from ideas I'd been sitting on, and I brought to completion with exchanging ideas with colleagues I trust, with the intention to go all out on the screenplay and animations. I'm confident that this game will be said to be the culmination of the Famicom Detective Club series. It expresses what I wanted to portray very directly. So the ending in particular, it might be divisive for some people. I hope that many people from across the world interact with it, discussing their thoughts and impressions about it for a long time. I can't wait to hear from the different comments from the players. Now, that's pretty cool. The game is coming out in August, as we suspected that this would end up being the August game. But they put up an official website that we should go check out. Uh, this is over on the, well, I guess the game page, I suppose. First, let's get into the description, then we'll get to the, the screenshots. Uh, first, you know, we got to verify the age. So let's go ahead and type in my age, because again, this is an M rated Nintendo game, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but let's go down and read the description here. It says, investigate the brutal death and its connection to an urban legend. A student has been found dead. His head was covered with a paper bag with an eerie smiling face drawn on it. Much like the victims of Emio, the smiling man, a killer of urban legend who is said to place such a bag over his victims' heads. As an assistant private investigator, you are tasked with helping police solve this crime, which is reminiscent of a series of unsolved murders from 18 years ago. Has a serial killer returned? Or is this the work of a copycat? Are these crimes inspired by the Smiley Man story or the origin of it? Discover the answers to these questions and more as a member of the Yutsugi Detective Agency in this intense story of suspicion, isolation, and fragility. Explore an interactive drama full of interesting characters. Continue the adventures of the Yutsugi Detective Agency with the return of familiar characters, including the returning protagonist from previous games, Ayumi Tachibana, who is now playable in certain sections of the game for the first time in the series. 
Playing as the investigative duo, you'll need to learn a lot about the personalities and backstories of other characters if you want to discover the truth. Who is harmless and who is keeping important secrets? Ask questions, reference your notes, and make connections. You'll have to order your thoughts and examine your leads carefully to draw the right conclusions. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these screenshots uh, because first off, I love this this, this just initial one here. I mean, the smiling man having got the technical club. This is obviously probably the image we're using in our thumbnail. Uh, man, what a what a creepy image. Pretty interesting. There's obviously Emio. I love it. I'll get to the next screenshot. Scene of the crime. If you guys played the prior family content center clubs, stuff like this looks pretty familiar. But you get to examine the scene of the crime. You get to ask questions. You get to take notes. You might even want to take physical notes at times to kind of help organize your thoughts. Uh, pretty interesting. As we get here, it says victims found with paper bags on their heads. This is an example of a victim with a paper bag on his head. You can ask and listen. You know, the the, it, the game is very. It, think. Um, I, I I don't really know how to compare this series. It, it's sort of like a visual novel, but it's not because it. it I don't know, man. It, as you see, it's like it's like a movie you're trying to play out. I don't know. I I really enjoy the Famicom Detective Club games. So let's just keep it going here. Uh, so here you see, this is an active crime scene officer. Your job is to keep a lookout. Pretty interesting, right? Uh, next up here, you see another one with a couple of characters here, and it says, "Call and engage. Ask, listen, look, examine, think." and save slash quit your investigation, giving you all the different options you can do in this moment. Uh, next, here's a, an eye that clearly is looking back at Emio. After all, I can give you a smile that will last forever. This appears to be a scene where Emio might be committing one of these murders. Uh, pretty creepy. Look at look at the creepiness in this. This is what I love about this. The Famicom Detective Club was always sort of a darker series, but it was only ever rated T for teen. I'm actually curious about the ending of the game, because apparently the ending... Is, it's got to be dark as hell. The, the, the way the producer described the ending of this game, it must be like super dark, and, and maybe it's not like this big positive ending that it's made out to be. Uh, moving on here, we get to this next thing where it says, hey, it's just like the Smiling Man of Urban Legend. It's like the real-life case of the Smiling Man. Uh, there's a certain similarity. So like you, you have a couple dialogue options. Um, and again, we're back to the very beginning. So... Look, this is a very creepy game, uh, but it's also very much a detective game. And I am excited to dive in. It does cost, as you see here, $49.99, so $50 digitally. There's also a physical version of the game, which is really cool because when they remade uh, Famicom Detective Club 1 and 2, uh, they did not give us a physical option. You can only buy them digitally. So it is really cool. It releases on August 29th, 2024. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, run over of this game and you enjoy all the latest news from Nintendo, be sure to subscribe right here at Nintendo Prime. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers. You guys rock, and we'll catch you in the next video.